Luke Fox, Steve Dangle, we are here to talk about something that is a topic of contention for Maple Leafs fans, and it seems to have been for many, many years. I don't have to tell Steve that. I'm sure he's cried himself to sleep many a night over the Leafs goaltending. Frederick Anderson's an outstanding goalie, but it seems like a lot of people still say it's not enough. The Leafs goaltending isn't good enough. So I'll ask both of you. We'll start with you, Luke. Give me one word to describe what you think of the Maple Leafs goaltending. Critical. Steve? Better. <laughs> it, 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 it's a bit of a vanilla word, but it's fine. Okay, Luke, why is it critical? Because Freddie Anderson's going into a contract year because he's heard his name dangled out there in trade rumors, uh, and Kyle Dubas did poke around. And, you know, I think because of the compacted schedule and the fact that they haven't got over the hump and won a playoff round, He's going to be a major storyline this year. I think, you know, his workload, does Jack Campbell, you know, take a run and get, uh, you know, a, a bigger share of the starts, the way tandems have gone in the NHL? Do they try to spread it around? Do they, do they start showing their hand and start planning for life after Freddie? Or does he assert himself as the man? Um, so I think Freddie Anderson is going to be a fascinating storyline. And how does he deal with that mentally, knowing that he has no security beyond this year? Steve, why is it better? Because we couldn't have even had the conversation Luke just did last year. Uh, mm -hmm. Michael Hutchinson getting a larger share of the starts. We weren't having that conversation. Mm -hmm. We weren't talking about a tandem. Certainly weren't. We weren't talking about him stealing the net. Definitely. Um, and Jack Campbell was a leaf for 4.5 seconds before the season ended. Um, and th there were, there were, you know, some issues with the team and injuries and what have you, but a full season with Frederick Anderson in a contract year. So super motivated and having the proper support behind him, the Leafs goaltending is clearly better than last season. Now, I think if you were to phone up Kyle Dubas or Sheldon Keefe or, or Brennan Shanahan and say, you know, who's your number one goalie? Is is this a, a split duo? They would say, no, Frederick Anderson's our number one guy. He's, he's our guy. And that's as simple as that. But under Sheldon Keefe and not Mike Babcock, will we see more of a, a 1A, 1B split? And I don't say that as Jack Campbell taking over the spot, but will it give Frederick Anderson some more rest and maybe be a different look than we're used to? Absolutely. I think so. Mike Babcock was so rigid. The backup was only getting the second half of back-to-backs and that's it. And you better win those games or you might find yourself on the waiver wire. Uh, they absolutely have to give Jack Campbell a little bit more leash. If he gets on a heater, I could totally see Sheldon Keefe rolling him out. The other guy we haven't mentioned here is Aaron Dell. Aaron Dell played more NHL games last season than Jack Campbell has in any season. Um, so I think that's kind of an interesting wrinkle here. Uh, be it an injury or if something happens and Aaron Dell gets called up, he outperformed Martin Jones in San Jose, and that was a, behind a pretty bad defense. And he's posted up respectable numbers. I think he's a solid number two in this league. So I, I think it's a, an interesting wrinkle. And it adds to what Steve said about better. I think it's better because of, of the depth as well. And, and we talk about the Leafs defense like it's the worst in league history. It wasn't even the worst in the NHL last year. I, I think the Leafs are going to be a breath of fresh air <laughs> if, you're, if you're Aaron Dell. And one thing that went a little unnoticed, uh, just because there was so much news and also people aren't going to put too, too much stock into uh, you know the third goaltender getting signed with Aaron Dell. But when he was asked about being the third goalie, uh, he didn't seem pleased with it. Um, he, his goal was to be on the Leafs roster, be one of their uh, two options, either be the starter, I doubt that, or the backup. And for the reasons that Luke just mentioned, why wouldn't he think uh, that it was a possibility? So uh, there's a little bit of competition, which there just wasn't last year. They barely had a backup, and now they're three deep at least. Now, we saw some tweets late last night as well as this morning about some revelations when it comes to a potential schedule, and we're looking like maybe mid-January and somewhere on the 50-something game mark. For the Leafs goaltending, I know we just talked about seeing more of the backup and more of a tandem duo, but does the shorter condensed season mean more of Frederick Anderson? And does that work in his favor? Or does having two guys that can play any given night really help in that condensed schedule? 
Yeah, I think having two guys that can play. I mean, the Leafs got virtually no points from their backup last season. They got a few when Jack Campbell came over in that deadline trade, but that really hurt them. And, you know, at the time, I thought Kyle Dubas was pretty kind to Michael Hutchison and, and tried to downplay how big of an issue it was, but actions speak louder than words. Going out and getting Campbell, going out and getting Aaron Tell, bringing back Hutchison, uh, I don't know who's going to play for the Marlies. they got so many goalies now. But uh, I, I think for sure there's, there's going to be more internal competition up and down the lineup. And if Freddie slips, it'll be his net, don't, to be sure. But if he slips, there's that opportunity for someone else to grab it for a while. Well, and the news about the season and, you know, potentially starting early to mid-January and uh, it ending by – late June and early July. I heard that in my car this morning. And when I tell you, I screamed. Just the, the, I know, I know, shocker, but the roar of triumph. Like, my God, uh, a season actually resembling a season in terms of structure, in terms of there's actually a bunch of games, in terms of where it ends. Oh, it's wonderful. I know that's not about goalies, but, God, it made me feel good. <laughs> Seeing Steve happy makes me so happy. It just brings a smile to my face this morning now i'll leave you guys with one question and uh like we did last time we spoke i'm putting on the clock i don't want this to be a long answer it's going to be 30 seconds so i'm going to start i'll start with steve because i had you here and you're in such a good mood and you're stretching and it's weird but whatever um do you think that any criticisms and there are criticism of any goaltender but there seems to be a lot of frederick anderson like we mentioned his name was bouncing around in trade rumors people asking kyle dubas if he's still their goalie are any criticisms of Frederick Anderson unjust? Are they fair? Are they ridiculous? Explain what you think. I mean, I think there are perfectly legitimate criticisms of Frederick Anderson. And, uh, you know, can he do it? Well, had the Leafs won a playoff series with him, that wouldn't be a question, would it? So that it's, it's a perfectly legitimate criticism. However, have you watched the Toronto Maple Leafs? I cannot say that I've watched the Toronto Maple Leafs over the past four seasons and come away with the conclusion that Frederick Anderson was the problem. They'll go as far as he takes them, but he needs a little bit of help. They went out and got that this offseason. Hopefully they can get past the first round for crying out loud. You went four seconds over, but I allowed oh, it. I, li- I liked your point. You were so excited. I did not want to cut you off. Luke, you now have less time because Steve cut into your time, so you can blame him later. Go. What do you think? Oh, yeah. He- he's feeling a little bit of heat. So Freddie Anderson's had four playoff series with the Leafs. He's been the second best goalie in every one of those series. He's he let, let in some backbreaking goals. I don't think he's the problem, but uh, because all none of the none of the Leafs have made it past the first round, but it's time for him to show that he can do it and get over the hump. And if he, if he does, he could be the most valuable UFA next summer in, goal, that- in terms of goalies. You added a little on the end. That was 24 seconds. So Steve did steal four of your seconds. You can blame him. That's how you make a clear, concise point. Both of you, thank you very much for doing this. I appreciate it. And we'll talk again soon.